Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. And if you're not, and if you need it, well, here you go. Here's a big man hug just for you. Oh, right, so we've looked at wiring a foot switch. We've looked at wiring an earth pedal, earth loop in the pedal. So today we're gonna to build a circuit. That's right, today we're going to build a circuit and we're going to build a Baz Fuss circuit, which is what is in this tiny, tiny little Harley Quinn covered enclosure. Um, yeah, I love this circuit. It's um, it's one of the first fuzzes that I ever made um, that I messed up when I made it. I bought a kit and the transistor I put in the wrong way on, on the little PCB, made a mess of it, burnt it out. And then I decided to buy the bits myself to make it. After watching a couple of videos on YouTube, um, still, oh, still just could not get my head around it. Um, but eventually got there. Um, I think it's all about, if this is gonna be your first circuit to build, which I would highly recommend if you're new to pedal building, that something like this is the way to go, then working out how the circuit actually works will aid you phenomenally especially for the rest of your pedal building journey so yeah we're going to get straight into building the circuit now the uh footage will be gopro i will try and light it the best i can um and i hope that um the information contained within helps and then there'll be a little bit of a sound clip at the end of the build as well. All right, um, right, so I will catch you after the build. Hello, so yes, we need um, six components and then our Vero board. Here's our Vero board and it's um, a simple eight by five, super tiny bit of board. It's got one little cut there. Um, I'll put the layout on the screen so you can see what it does. And then we've got our transistor. In this case, it's an MPSA 13. We've got our 10K resistor. Our 220 nanofarads capacitor. A 4.7 UF capacitor. A 47 UF. And then a red LED, which is going to be our um, feedback clipping diode. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our 10K resistor. We're going to go into this pin, this pin, like so, yeah, and then that is ready for soldering. I'm going to bring in some helping hands. There we go. One leg. That's the other leg. Yeah, that's our resistor in. Normally, you'd um, go in height value when doing this. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the transistor on first. Here's my transistor tester, just so that I can find out which is my base collector and emitter. There we go, seeing that our collector is pin three. Yeah, so we've got, that's collector, that's our base, and that's our emitter. Yeah, and the, all three pins go in three holes like so. Yeah. That is ready for soldering. And here we go. So, got to be nice and quick with transistors. Make sure your aim is nice and warm. Nice. Pull up a solder on there. Nice and quick on each leg. Yeah. Nice and quick. Don't want to put too much heat into that transistor because it can damage it. There we go. That is our transistor soldered in. Yeah. 
Yep. So next, I want to put ah LED in. Now, the LED does is it takes voltage that's coming into the collector, and as a diode, it's one way switch. Uh, yeah, one way valve essentially. It will go across into the base, and then it feeds back in a loop. And that is essentially what creates our fuzz. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm using an LED, but on the diagram, saying a diode. The shorter leg is the negative on an LED, which is indicated with the stripe on a schematic. Okay. So we put that in. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not going to be as neat as a normal like. I've still got to squeeze in capacitors. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to twist my LED, bend it slightly, just gets it out of the way. the 220 mf connected <coughs> yep it'll look a little messy but it'll sound awesome got our 4.7 uf now these are polarized so make sure you get the right way in yeah, we're going to go have these pins here. Yeah. Just squeeze the legs out. Hold it in place a bit better. Voila, done.
So yeah, that was the build. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love making these. I love finding new ways of um, different combinations. I think my, my preferred combination now is the MPSA 13 with the the five mil red led i've tried it with blue led it does it does sound great but i just think a red led is that clipping diode just oh it just brings out beastliness in the circuit i love it and with the mpsa 13 being a darlington transistor um it means it's got multiple gain stages inside it but that also means that when you roll back your guitar volume it does clean up a little bit compared to say a single transistor in that um, socket space there. So thank you very much if you've made it to the end of the video. Um, if you have, you're part of the Elusive 5% Club and today you're getting an extra man hug. Wow, thank you very much. Um, I'm in a really good mood. And over here, you'll find some more videos. And down below, you'll find a really cool playlist. I think that's gonna be on these ones. That'll be my DIY playlist there. And if you haven't, please already subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. Right, thank you very much. And I will catch you on the next video.